The best job in the world is to be a venture capitalist. You get to work with uh, some very uh, smart, passion-driven uh, people who just believe that they've had the eureka moment and come up with the, uh, the next big idea. It's uh, a great feeling to be part of something where uh, two engineers and an eight and a half by 11 piece of paper that had a concept on it into a company that grows two hundreds of millions of dollars, public and profitable. It's the greatest job in the world. When I left Holy Cross, even though I didn't really understand what I was going to do the rest of my life, I think it was the foundation upon which everything, all the experiences and decisions I made going forward. My first investments were in Quantum, which was a disk drive company, and then a company called Maxdoor. Semiconductor area. Cadence design system. We did a number of medical device companies. Laser companies. Telecommunications area, advanced fiber communication, and a number of others that we were founders of, and they're up on the, up on the wall here. The thrill of the hunt is the new experience. The crazy engineers that come in with some idea that nobody had ever thought of, at least I hadn't. But I can't see how anybody can be happy unless they're you know, well-rounded. I can go home at night and all of a sudden the door opens and three grandkids come running in with their dogs. Can life get any better? We're very fortunate that all five of our children and uh, uh, nine grandchildren live in the same town that we live in. And my wife, Bibi, loves to say that she has a role have to live within three miles of their mother. Bibi and I like just to stand back and watch the interaction of the cousins and the, uh, the marriage together. Okay. My experience at Holy Cross was transformational. One of the things we learned uh, at Holy Cross uh, in, in Jesuit training in general is be uh, thoughtful of, uh, of other people and for the advantages that we have that we should share them with other people and, and give back. So I think that's been a hallmark of uh, both my wife and I. Education in our family has been important in our lives and as I worked with our kids and their education, I saw the, the impact that education can make on, a, on an individual. As a venture capitalist, you always look for leverage. My wife and I had been searching for a way to have our dollars go much farther than just individual scholarships. In 2000, we discovered two educational models, the Tivity Miguel Middle School and the Christa Ray High School models. I saw them as a delivery mechanism for the vision we had of delivering high-quality education to inner-city kids. We made a, an investment in replicating these schools, and we're proud to say that we've replicated the Nativity Miguel Middle Schools, and there are now 60 of them, and we replicated the Christa Ray Schools, and there are now 24 throughout the United States. Sacred Heart and Our Lady of Grace here in San Jose is the closest uh, one it's a lot of fun to me when I visit these schools, especially uh, when they first come in, to shake the hands and get the introduction and the eye-to-eye -eye, uh, contact. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. This is our visitor, Mr. Casson. Good morning, Mr. Casson. Good morning to you. It's gratifying to see two models that kind of bring Catholic education back into the inner cities where so much was done by Catholic educators for myself and, uh, and others. Much of the road I've traveled, uh, sometimes I think uh, it can't be ra random walk. There was a Holy Spirit uh, guiding me along that got me into working with these schools. And some right things have to come together for us to be as blessed as we are with, uh, with this family that we have. What else is there? There's, there's your the family, uh, your health, and what kind of a mark you leave uh, on this weary world of ours.